Hey, what's good guys, Vexan here, bringing another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm bringing you my first tutorial in the new version of Vegas, which is Vegas Pro 16, and I'll be showing you how to use the brand new motion tracking feature. So what this means is you can motion track in Vegas without any manual labor, no frame by frame, you know, editing of text and all that sort of stuff, no pan crop needed. You can just click a few buttons and then it'll do it all automatically for you. So if you do enjoy this tutorial, please remember to leave a like down below, that's really appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump straight into Vegas. Okay, so here we are, we're in Vegas Pro, and as you can see at the top, it is version 16. Now do remember, you will need this version of Vegas for this tutorial. So I've got my clip here, it's just simple Black Ops 4 cinematic, it's just a few seconds long, and if we play this back here, you can see it's a very simple pan across the screen motion. So first thing, so we're gonna go up to effects, and then we're gonna click on Bezier Masking. Now remember, you won't have this in older versions of Vegas. And then we're gonna click OK. So, the first we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to Mask 1. And so set to Rectangle, as you can see on the screen here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to the spot we wanna track. So I'm gonna track this corner of this wall here. We'll make it a bit smaller, about there. And that should work pretty well. Then we're gonna go down to this Tracking tab. And then once again, down to Options. So tracking in Vegas doesn't take very long. It can do many frames per second. So it's not very intensive on your computer. So I recommend setting the keyframe interval to one and the precision to high, because you always want that highest accuracy possible. And since it's not too intensive on your computer, there's no real reason to lower those quality settings unless you just don't need them. Now, the last option here, which you might've noticed is mode. Now, as you can see, you can track the location or you can track the location and the rotation. And then you can do both of those as well as the size. So they are the options you have for tracking in Vegas 16, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it on location. So once you've got all those options set up, you wanna make sure you've got your cursor at the very beginning of your clip, because what Vegas will do is it'll start tracking the frames forward from wherever your cursor is currently sitting. So just make sure it's at the beginning of your clip, go back to this window and then click start. Now, as you can see, this process is very quick. I will say this is a short clip I've got, but still the process should only take a few seconds. So we'll just wait for this to finish here. And then once this is finished, and if we close this window, we can play this back here right from the beginning. And we can see Vegas has tracked that motion. So it just follows this corner of the wall that I set it to as we go forward. So it really is that simple, and it's just that easy to track in Vegas. Now, what we're gonna do is we wanna add some text to this. So I'm gonna go Tools, Scripting, and click Add Text to Motion Track. Just click OK when this window pops up. And as you can see, you've got some text here. So this is pretty ugly, obviously. So what we're gonna do is click on this media generator button. We're gonna select our text and just customize it however you want. So for a lot of people, they'll do an intro into their edits or their montages and it'll say, you know, a montage by Vexenator, that sort of thing. And it might say a montage by whatever your name is. And you just wanna get a nice title like that. So for titles like that, I usually like to use Babass. So we're going all the way up to the top, Babass and then I'll click HSV, set this to white, and then you probably want to shadow on this so it's a bit clearer. We'll go down to shadow, click enable, set these to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and we'll increase the blur a bit to make it a bit softer. 0 0.6 looks pretty good. And then obviously want this text a bit smaller, we'll bring it down to let's say 12. Now I'll just write text, Oops, text, yeah, a bit bigger actually. We'll go 16, that looks pretty good. And our text is looking pretty good now. Now, if we just play this back here, well actually what we'll do is we'll click event pan crop and make sure at the beginning of your clip and we'll move this text so it's positioned just a bit better for where we want it. And that looks pretty good to me. And then obviously you wanna go back to your cinematic clip or just your background that you've tracked and you want to disable that mask so you can actually see your original clip. So we'll close this, go back to the beginning and play this through here. So as you can see, that tracked beautifully, really simple, only takes a few minutes, a few steps, and then you've got some nice text tracked to your object in Vegas. So that is Project Guys, that is the tutorial. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have any problems, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you see someone else down there with a problem who needs some help and you have the answer they need, 
just please drop a comment and help them out. It just really saves me some time and then everyone else out there watching this tutorial can use this effect. So that is it. Remember, if you have enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to leave a like down below or if you consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future. And that's pretty it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.